Spoiler warning, this video does include some story and secrets. A link to the game has been posted in the description. Every sale helps. Enjoy! Welcome back everyone, we are on chapter 4. We have this nice little squid hat. We can run around in this, um, this nice swamp. But yeah, oh, there we go. There is our first enemy already. So you can see the different enemies. Oh, and I found a golden frog. But I don't think I'll find the rest of them. Oh, there we go. So you can see one of these new attacks. He sort of goes underneath the water and can't be attacked while underwater and then like goes to your position, jumps up to attack you. So there is variations in the enemies uh, that can happen. Obviously there's secrets because you can see that there's a frog there that we found that says 1 out of 3 and whoa! What was that? That was a game squid which is the programmer of the Binding of Isaac, the original one. Um, me and him are working together on his new game, Squid Invaders. Uh, so yeah, I put that sort of cameo in the game. He also sponsored this game, so a big thank you to Florian Himsel, which is Game Squid. But yeah, so we see here that we just defeated two skeletons and they had moss on their head but you actually hit it off and stuff so that's that's a nice little detail but we have this enemy which is a frog but whenever he sort of goes blue he goes invincible as well so we need to try and figure out a way to just kill him but the thing is is once you kill him oh he explodes with gold and with mini frogs now these mini frogs you can actually hit but they hurt you very very easily and it takes a while for you to actually kill them. I think it's three hits yeah. So what we can do is you've seen that there's a little symbol above his head so we can jump and bag slam and there we go. That just took out all the mini frogs. So what bag slam does is it hits every enemy on screen for one um, soft hit basically. But with those many frogs it takes them out instantly but now you can see that it has like the skeletons here. The skeletons are prone to this attack so they'll get quite a bit of damage off so if I do that they'll go ahead hit them but the crocodile was underwater so it didn't affect them. And you can see how the moss that's on the head gets wiped off whenever I attack them. Now they have like a little bit mm, if I do it a bit more, there we go, they're, they're both bald now, essentially. <laughs> so collect all that gold and we'll continue ahead. Maybe, I think one of the frogs is here, maybe not, I can't remember <laughs> where I've placed them. But um, they're not too hidden, they're just all hidden under those lily pads. I remember where one is, well I remember where two is because I got that one at the start. Oh. I'm just gonna try use this boomerang to my full advantage. So the swamp is quite hard. Um, it's probably the first real hard level. Um, obviously we had the the forest, which the boss was a lot harder uh, than anything that we had fought before. But this one sort of has enemies that can work together a lot better and just the general difficulty of the level is is a lot harder. So we'll get this guy closer, take him out, just gonna explode the frogs, we'll do a bag slam, take them out, and we're on to the next screen. Oh, there's a little born inside there and a grave full of corrupted skeletons. Now even if they are off screen um, because they are spawned in it will still hurt them with the bag slam. So there we go that's just hit all of them. We can wait for the bag slam to recharge uh, to use it again for the next few that come. But we can take out these guys just now. There we go we've just taken them out and we've got all the gold and then pow hit again. So roughly three bag slams at level six is gonna take out all these skeletons. Um, 
if you really don't want to risk getting hit or anything like I just did. And up, oh, maybe four at level six, maybe at level seven. Level seven. Um, that it will take them out. We'll see here that we have these barrels. We can push them around and stuff in the swamp. Uh, but really, they're just here to sort of get broken. Oh, my dog is whining. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, my dog was just wanting to jump up onto the bed, but you can reach. And this is where I know where the second frog is. Just this lily pad down here. You can move out of the way. There's the second one. Um, I'm not sure if we've actually passed any of them, but we will see in a minute. Oh, that's probably the first time I've been hit by a laser in this game. Oh, apart from testing purposes, obviously. But you can see here that this is a very hard environment to to battle in because you've got very limited space. You can see that there's two crocodiles here, but also you can hear that there's a frog off screen just coming. There he is. So we can either wait or we can go ahead and try get to the frog ourselves. Uh, I'm just going to go past and try get the frog myself. He jumps pretty far, so I'm going to I hide behind this laser for a bit. And as I said, enemies don't get hit by um, environmental hazards or anything. So we're going to kill them. And we're on to the next screen. And here is a robot dump. So you can sort of see all this oil spilled and these, um, these whirlpools that will suck you in and then actually take quite a bit of damage off you and then place you back where you were. Or just outside it. Uh, oh, and there was the game squad again, just sort of peering at us, looking at us, taunting us. Uh, he will play into the into the level later on. But here's some more barrels. Oh, that one had a bunch of coins in it, and those ones are empty. Hey, look at that! We just found a frog, which is not a golden frog, and we died. Okay, so the game just uh, crashed and then I recorded two more episodes and lost all the footage, so we are continuing from this point. So, we already got the frog, what you do is you move that lily pad out, the frog comes out and you throw the boomerang and then you get the frog as a hat. Uh, I will show that just now. So all the way down here, here is the frog. And now, we are at the mini boss. This mini boss has quite a few attacks, like this um, this big whirlpool that can easily suck you in if you get too too close. You can also hit him with the boomerang. He can be hit by the boomerang, by the boomerang, but the um, plant boss, the plant mini boss, couldn't. So he's doing a spin attack again. Also, what's what's quite cool uh, and was discovered is you can throw the boomerang into this and still hit the boss. Um, a couple of people mentioned that to me and I thought it was pretty cool so I kept it in the game. Also, uh, when I recorded the other episodes, the game broke in several places so I had to actually set up a new build. So there is a new build of the game up on Steam um, which eliminated those, those bugs. So here is quite a difficult puzzle. A lot of people get stuck in it. You hit this one, it does the inner um, colour change. You hit this one, it hits the second outer colour change. What you want to do is try to get it all green, but if you just hit these this way, they will only get those two. But if you come around the other side, you can hit it as well, and then that will actually um, do the other ones. So you want to get this all green at first, then all red. So here we go. So now it's all red. There we go. Uh, now we need to get them all yellow. And once that has happened, that should allow us to go through that electric fence thing. There we go. 
Right check, lasers, that's, that's, that's the word I was looking for, I was looking for lasers, I wasn't looking for fence. Um, so, we can easily take these guys out now because I have leveled up all the way to level 8. <laughs> um, so the, the higher you level, the more damage you do, like the more base damage you do. It also increases the damage of things like the boomerang uh, and bag slam slightly. So we'll take these guys out and uh, make a way through. Oh, I just got destroyed by that. Oh well. <laughs> so we'll have to do this puzzle again. I will fast forward through it so you don't need to deal with me hitting these a bunch of times. There we go. We are back and we're about to fight these guys again. Now in hard mode it actually does send you all the way back to the start at the beginning of the entire level uh, so there's not checkpoints like there is in this normal mode um, you will still get coins taken off you as well um, so there there is a bigger a much bigger penalty in hard mode and oh, let's get this guy get his little minions Right, I died here last time, <laughs> let's not die again. Uh, I also forgot to pick up the golden uh, frogs so we could see getting a golden melon piece from it. But, oh, in the later levels I bought an upgrade for Doug to bark near secrets. So you can see that he's barking here, so let's hit here. We go into the mountain and there's this big tree golem thing. Uh, I don't want to collect too many coins um, just because I've already went through and collected a bunch so I'm gonna exit just now. Uh, it wasn't interactable or anything so there wasn't much to do in the secret room um, but they are there just to give you a boost in coins basically. Uh, once you've been in it until you exit level you can't go into it again. Um, even if you've left a bunch of coins in, you won't be able to go back in. Uh, that's just mainly to stop any uh, money farming or anything like that. Let's take these guys out. Gone. So we're on to the next screen and it looks, it looks quite barren doesn't it? it? looks quite barren until you get to this point where there's a boss and it is scraps. He can actually transform uh, so you transform into a snake sometimes like he just did there. Uh, that's not always guaranteed uh, especially for like the first First attack. Uh, you've seen these bubbles before, but now there's three of them, and they're quite a bit faster. And all three of them hit me, which done quite a big bit of damage. So here he is, sort of floating. And this was inspired by the Jungle Book. Um, you can see, sort of swirl in his eye as well. So he can be hurt by the um, the boomerang as well, so you can get quite a bit of combo damage on him. And as I said, the boomerang is the most powerful weapon in the game, uh, the most useful as well. Oh, and he's firing bombs at us, and one of them has created a world build, so we'll try to stay away from that. So I'll attack him a bit more. As I said, uh, I did level up a bit more, um, just because a bunch of uh, things went wrong, basically, <laughs> and I had to restart the recording. Um, so I am quite a bit stronger, I am doing more damage than usual. Uh, oh, this guy is now throwing bombs and put a whirlpool right in the middle of the stage. Can we get him? We're gone. So here we go, there's just scraps left from scraps. We grab the bomb, uh, well the rocket, and it flies us up into the air which takes us to the bonus game. Uh, this is like a pseudo 3D game inspired by the game Mal Mal Castle. Uh, we have met the developers of Mal Mal Castle and 
uh, I asked him how he sort of done this effect himself. So he gave me basically the answer on how to do it, uh, which allowed for me to create this this fancy little pseudo 3D level. Oh, and you need to avoid the crows. <laughs> but it's kind of hard when you have this big frog sitting on your head. Oh, and you'll see that the clouds actually change as well, um, the closer you get to the mountain again. Because what you're actually doing is trying to work your way back up the mountain to your original village. Yo, oh, there we go, and we've landed on the mountain. So here's the shop. I've already bought the things from the shop. Uh, there was a Viking hat, and there was also the Bark at Secrets. But as you can see, he's barking at the secret, and what that is is actually just an Easter egg. If I hit this, you can see that that snail just meowed. That is Gary the snail and SpongeBob sitting there. And there we go, we have completed chapter 4. So I will see you guys in the next episode so we can do chapter 5 and we can do continue our walkthrough. Thank you.